Hi, it's Drew. It's considered the first rock and roll Christmas song, but who exactly is responsible for that is a question that still doesn't have a definitive answer. This is the story behind Jingle Bell Rock. Behind the Christmas Hits with Drew Savage. Bill Haley's Rock Around the Clock was a huge hit in 1955. Elvis Presley had his first four number one hits in 1956. By 1957, the rock and roll sound was about to hit Christmas music, even if that wasn't initially the plan. Jingle Bell Rock was first recorded by country singer Bobby Helms. He's not recognized as the song's author, but he and guitarist Hank Sugarfoot Garland would both claim, right up until their deaths, that they co-wrote it. You might not know the name Hank Garland, but you've heard him play. Jingle Bell Rock, Wake Up Little Susie, Pretty Woman, yeah, that's Hank Garland. The official songwriters of record are Joseph Beale and James Booth. Both worked in the newspaper business, but would also pitch song ideas to Hollywood producers. Jingle Bell Rock is the only song I could find that's credited to them. Helms and Garland always maintained that the song Beale and Booth wrote was called Jingle Bell Hop and was just awful. The last line of the first verse, now the jingle hop has begun, is likely a line that remained, but much of what was recorded was not on the original page. Helms passed in 1997, but he told the Indianapolis Star in 92 that Jingle Bell Hop was so bad he didn't want to record it until after he and Garland rewrote existing lyrics, reworked the melody, upping the tempo and the bridge. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Well, they say they wrote that part from scratch. Helms and Garland considered it a brand new song, and they recorded it that night. Paperwork likely played a huge role in how things unfolded from there. Session players would often come up with things on the fly and not take notes, so there's no paper trail tracing the changes they made to the song. But plenty of people have come forward saying they witnessed Helms and Garland working their magic. Hank passed in 2004, but his younger brother Billy has taken up the cause. It's estimated that as much as $100 million in royalties were never paid to Bobby Helms and Hank Garland. Jingle Bell Rock was released on November 28, 1957, debuting at number six on the charts for that week, and it's been a Christmas favorite ever since. Thanks for joining us. We're just getting started. For lots more stories and videos behind the Christmas hits, hit subscribe. It'll make you feel festive. Tomorrow, the story about a hit that began as a Christmas gift for a high school crush. Merry Christmas, darling, by the Carpenters. We'll see you then.